So welcome guests to The Wandering Peacock or whoever is watching this on YouTube. So this is our hot tub. It's a wood burning um, Japanese hot tub. It's all cedar. So bear in mind, the water does get um, like a kind of brownish color. Um, so a little bit about it. You could stir the water with this paddle. So basically you're heating up the water in with a wood burning stove, and it, but it does not circulate, nothing's circulating it. So you might have to circulate it yourself with this paddle. What you do is you put it in and you, you kind of paddle, mix it up like you would mix up a boiling water pan. I don't know, it's mix it all up manually. Um, we do have a cheat system. So I leave this here and this is uh, a pump. And what you want to do is you attach the pump to this outlet here. And it pumps for you, so you don't have to do that. So when um, you're, you're done with the temperature you want, you can check the temperature by opening it and just checking it here. There's also um, a thermometer inside here. You just put it in, let it go down a little bit and check the temperature. You take this thing off and when you're done, also put this back on uh, with, and you put it in the child proof snaps right here. So when you're done, you, you really should do this because animals and children can come up here and drown potentially. And they're all around here. So you snap it here, here, and two other parts to remove the cover. When you remove the cover, it's usually a two person job, but you can finagle it with one person. Just bring the cover here. That's a good spot for it or in the back. Um, it says check water levels before burning. Now this is important. It could burn up the actual heater. So if you want to come here real quick to show a close up of the inside, this line right here is a little bit low so i would want to fill that up this is too low you want it to be kind of filled up at least to like here you don't want it lower than this or it could start burning and really destroying the actual um hot tub and you just put this back on here there's a little lip where it rests on so with the stove there's a couple of pieces that play sorry it just rained um this is the damper right here. And this is on. So vertically is on, horizontally, it's cutting off airflow. So this is off and this is on. So horizontally on, vertically, vertically on, horizontally off. And you make your fire in the stove right here. Um, I can give fire uh, starters, which are these little sticks. You make like a little teepee or there's a couple of strategies with making a fire. So what you want to do to start your fire is there's um, a piece of metal right here and you put this flush with a piece of metal for maximizing the airflow. The, the air goes through here and then gets sucked up here, burns around and then goes up the pipe. And this is just the maximum way. If you leave this all the way open, it's actually not doing a great circulation. So you, this is max. Don't do it this way. That's going to turn off your fire. We actually had a guest do that and they lost the fire. You want it this way. When you're done or you're getting, it's getting too hot, you can go turn it off like this and put that vertical. Um, but this right here is, is maximum. So again, this might get too hot. And for those kind of situations, you have to fill up the, the tub. And unfortunately, it's hose water, so it is cold. Uh, and it's fortunate, I guess, if it's too hot, but if it's, it won't heat, it's not hot water, so you can't fill it up with warm water, only cold water. So we want you, what you want to do is put it in here and bring down the hose. And I'll show you where to turn on the hose. So if you can follow me. Seven o'clock. 
So with this hose, there's two different ons. So there's this on, so you want to turn that on, and then afterwards you want to turn off. Off. So it's um, lefty loosey. Lefty loosey. Righty tighty. Righty tighty. And then here is the second on. So again, it's kind of the same thing. Vertical is on and horizontal is off. So this is the, the what how we water the chickens. So that's off right now. And this is the hot tub one. So we turn it on. And so then it'll go to your um, to your hot tub. Just remember when you turn it on to remember to turn it off when you're done. Because uh, sometimes that's not good. You could flood that area and it could cause a lot of damage. So again, turn this on and just wait some time before it fills up. I like to fill this up when it hasn't been filled um, just all the way to the top. And when you get in, you'll, you'll feel, you'll hear a um, splashing and stuff, but that's fine. Uh, this little thing right here, it's not used much, but it's kind of a cool little piece. And what you do is you put it here, but put it on this side. So you put it like that so you could have drinks. Again, this is super, super, super hot. Don't ever, ever, ever touch the pipe, the, pi the uh, flute. flute. It's, it's just going to be, it's going to burn you. So don't put anything up there just out of safety. If you're going to have drinks, put it on this please because uh, things could get really burned we had some people burning bathrobes and towels and it's a little dangerous so for clothing you could put things in between these slats right here uh, in the future I will put hooks I haven't gotten there yet so by the time you're watching this video it, the setup might have changed I'm constantly improving the place so if it's a little bit different bear with me usually I make things a little bit better and you could always cool off and read a book in the little hot tub patio chair the little shade garden or go to the um, outdoor patio area and have a coffee or a glass of champagne on top of our see no evil hear no evil table and get a good look at the appalachian trail